it is the next day bought a car cover for it just so uh it hides the fact that it's totally beat up but i'm just gonna uh, take a look at it um just see what all i'm gonna need i know a good amount of things are missing so we'll just start from there I mean, we got pushed back a little bit, but it's like nothing, nothing major. Just plastic pieces, radiator. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I don't want to take things apart because I have a car I'm going to be wrapping right now. So don't even want to bother. But we'll see right now. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna take it apart. I have nothing else to do right now, so I'm gonna start just taking it apart and see what we find. Got the headlights out. Just gonna try to remove this crash bar and then take a look at the radiator and everything else. But it's pretty quiet here in my neighborhood, so I don't really want to make a lot of noise. Uh, we'll see right now. I got this. Hopefully, this will help me pull it out. This side that's having trouble. these plastic things off so I don't yank them I don't yank them when I pull this off so I'm gonna just do that right now and we'll see cuz uh, right now I don't have a plan I'm kind of just taking things apart so wish me luck Right, this is it um just looked at it looked at what all i'm probably gonna need now i just got this mess to clean up all right so my radiator arrived and the oil cooler now um i'm just gonna mount the oil cooler and radiator just for now so i can move it around and uh, bring it up in the garage uh i don't know if i have any oil in the car is this gonna I don't know much about this. I'm no mechanic. So I just want to replace the radiator and the oil cooler. Start it up, see if I can move it, and probably just park it to the side over there where it's not in the street and where you can't see this because this looks ugly out in the street. So I, I don't want to leave it here. Um, so I'm going to attempt to take off the radiator. I'm not sure exactly how, but, you know, we'll, we'll find it. There's always a way. Or just break it off. All right, I saw one YouTube video on how to remove it.
got a good grip. Oh, was it? Flat, but that's the least of my problems. I'm gonna attempt to start it. I'll bring the truck next to it.